that so let's read the main kinds of aboriginal art are rock art tree bark painting sand painting and dot painting rock art includes painting and engraving or carving it can be found at sites s-i-t-e-s -E throughout australia a-u-s-t-r-a-l-i-a -A, but is difficult to date the oldest dated rock art painting in australia is a charcoal image drawn 28,000 years ago it can be seen in a rock shelter in southwestern R Arnhem, A R N H E M, land in the Northern Territory, N O R T H E R N T E R R I T O R Y. <laughs> Some rock art shows extinct, extinct meaning no longer in existence, E X T I N C T, animals. Other paintings show the arrival of British B R I T uh, uh, come on I S H British ships in Australia which occurred in seventeen eighty eight. The tree bark paintings of Arnhem Land were responsible for shaping many people's visual experience of Aboriginal art prior to 1970. Coastal Arnhem Land had a plentiful P -L -E -N -T -I -F -U -L, supply of stringy bark S-T-R-I-N-G-Y-B-A-R-K trees. And in the right season, large sheets of bark could be cut from the tree trunks and then cured, C-U-R-E-D, or dried and flattened, F-L-A-T-T-E-N-E-D, over a fire. Once they were scraped back, the inner surface, S-U-R-F-A-C-E, of the bark made a beautiful surface for the artists to paint on. What's wrong? What's wrong? Do you need the toilet? Now come on, let's go do our questions quickly. Let's go do our questions quickly. Come. Off we go. Come along. Do do our questions. Come on.
Let's go sit in your chair. Let's move your chair for you quickly. Up, up, up. This way. That way. There we go. Let's sit nicely in your chair. Knees together, nice and straight. 